What's up, Instagram? What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? So today I want to talk about social media, right? So let's start with how, when I started. So I started the Instagram page about a year and a half now. Started the Facebook page two years ago. Uh, Twitter recently, YouTube two years ago. And it's going on, right? It could go better. But uh, so I want to touch on some negatives and some positives about being on social media and some warnings for people that want to do it themselves and what to expect. Okay, so we we'll start the negatives. So, uh, neg negatives about social media could be you will constantly find yourself comparing yourself to others. The reason it's I say this is because it's so hard seeing millions and millions and thousands and hundreds and of pages and not compare. It's it's hard. It's it's truly hard. So in that aspect, it's negative. You get caught up in engagement. What I mean is by the amount of likes, the amount of comments, the amount of views. At some at some point, you, you when you're doing the social media thing, you care about it at some point. So that's a negative about it. Because to be honest, in, in order for people to see more of your content, your engagement has to be good, right? So either way, you're still going to care about it a little bit. So that's a negative about it. And the other negative is how people don't use it for the right reasons. How uh, some people use it to, to show their butt cheeks, to just to show their abs, just to, to show off something, right? Without uh, motivating, without inspiring, without entertaining, without giving something to the person watching, right? Instead of doing it for likes no 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 everybody does stuff for likes is it doing it just for likes and doing it just for engagement so those are the negatives i talked about and we'll, and we'll not talk about it again all right so those are the negatives so the positives all right so depending on the person you can use it to help people how can you help people on social media well the reason you can help or well, not how uh, why can you help people on social media? The reason you can help people on social media is because everybody has technology these days, right? So that's number one. Number two, nobody really watches TV. Nobody goes on the computer. Uh, and people are more uh, prone to go on a, uh, I guess, a, a cellular device, right? Anyways. So social media is a quickest way to reach out to people right so if you have a social media platform and you use it for the right reasons to inspire motivate educate entertain and just spread out positivity you, you're giving value to the person on the on the gadget right and they receive it and it can make their day better it can make their week better it can make their month better make their year better Right? In that aspect, social media is positive. And what other reasons are social media positive? You can reach out to people, of course, right? You can uh, contact your family members, your friends, all that stuff. So that's why it's positive. You can find a lot of information for yourself, which is resourceful, which you can use in your everyday living, right? You can you can look, look up stuff about... Uh, you know, workouts, about nutrition, about health, about uh, economy, anything you look for, social media has it. So social media is a great source of information. It's a great source of motivation, entertainment, all that good stuff. And yeah, so those are really the positives about social media. And we won't touch, a bit, we won't touch on it again. So... What to expect if you're gonna uh, start a social media and what to, I shouldn't say avoid because it's gonna happen either way. Anyways, so when starting a social media, you, you're gonna get caught up with numbers at first. You're gonna get caught up with how many followers you have, your likes, your comments, 
to, to be honest, if you want to grow, you have to care about that at some point, right? So you're going to care about that, okay? It's going to, sometimes it's going to be stressful. Sometimes it's going to be exhausting because, of course, to grow on social media, you have to be consistent. You have to post all the time. You have to keep pushing content, right? You have to be really quick on your feet, right? Especially to make videos like this, you have to really think all the time about what to do next, right? It cannot just be a one-time thing. So expect that, all right? Uh, expect people not to like you, right? Not everybody's gonna like you, I think you know this. No matter who you act as when you're in front of the screen or no matter if you're a great person, you volunteer everywhere, whatever. People, some people are not gonna like you, okay? It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. There's always gonna be haters and always gonna be supporters, all right? So keep that in mind. And what else can I could I say to expect? Expect it to be a very bumpy journey in the first for your first ten thousand uh, followers. Expect it to be bumpy. Expect it to be frustrating. Expect it to be man, I want to quit. Man, this is annoying. Why aren't people seeing my stuff? My 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 content is so good and nobody is watching. Why? All right. With the way the algorithm is now, right? I don't, I, I don't care. I'll just find a way to make my stuff better. Anyways, with, with how the algorithm is, it makes, it makes it harder for people to kind of cheat the system. So I, I guess in a way it's better. But like I said, your first 10,000 will be frustrating because there'll be ups and downs. There'll be people following, unfollowing, uh, you know, uh, annoying uh, accounts will be DMing you to from promotions and all that stuff. I just expect things to to be annoying in the beginning. And one more expectation, or one more tip, I should say, patience. Be patient, man. Just keep on plugging away. Keep on plugging away. Keep on being patient. And at some point, it will grow like crazy. I'm I'm not at that point yet. I'm. I'm only at uh, 6,000 right now, about 6,000 uh, followers on uh, IG, uh, almost 2,000 on Facebook. You know, I'm still, I'm still a beginner, basically, right? And I'm, I'm learning as I go, but just keep in mind those are things to expect when you're on social media. And those were the negatives and positive about social media, all right? So I just did this video to help to, to get people to see what I'm seeing when I'm posting all the time and maybe also use this information to help whoever is trying to do their own thing with social media and stuff. And to end the video, I just like to say you should do your own thing. You should do your own social media because with how everybody with how everybody is now, nobody watching TV, everything's on a, a gadget, right? Everything's on your phone, everything Literally everything, even your your uh, debit card and your credit card is on your phone. Everything is on your phone now. So if you have a social media platform, a, a small business, ways for people to do transactions through a phone, right? I think you'll be smart, man. I think you'll be smart. I think many people should consider it for sure. There's a lot of benefits to it. And I'm just beginning and I'm just going to just keep growing and keep learning and stuff like that, right? So... Yeah, that's all I basically wanted to say today. All right, hopefully this video was resourceful. Hopefully it gave you some good insight about what to expect on social media and uh, the negatives and positives about it. So, uh, yep, so I wish you guys a happy day, right? So make sure to get it today. Make sure to get better today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.